Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well... There's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new. But the shrine is just on the other side. Did something give? Over on the right? That should help. There we go! Come on! Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait. I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything.
That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Here since Vardal finds somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. <gasps> this way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. There's a shortcut this way. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely! Mimir, did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. Then he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? <laughs> Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. Right 
On your left! Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfon, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to- Enough. We will go. Really? But, if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. Live and breathe. Is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me. Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, We've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Right this way, Kratos. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, and your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? 
doing the hell is anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. You know this. Mmm. Busted up good. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? I only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Hmm. Looks like Pimple Winner is hard on our girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some Brock love. Found some items you left behind. Tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around. Check out my room. <laughs> Tell Sindri when you're ready. Thank you. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Hey, come see. Finding everything all right, I hope? I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. I'll be ready when you are, promise. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. 
So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine! Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds... unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light. In your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Crossfolk of eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate.
This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks! Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. Everything. It's warm. 